Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to show you how I created my doll office set. So let's jump right into it. So I'm starting off with this door that I found at Dollar General. It used to be a Christmas decor for $5, but I got it on clearance for $1.50. So I'm going to use that as my doors. I'm going to start off by taking off the decor and scraping off the excess glue. After that, I am going to sand down two doors. Next, I got some standard foam board, 30 by 20, half an inch thick, two of them, and glued them together. Placed the doors in the center and used half inch square wooden dowels to make the frame for the doors. I cut my dowels down to the measurements of my door and also cut them at a 45 degree angle. Traced around my door and my door frame and also marked the height of my Wayne's coating panel. I cut out the hole for my doorway and made sure that my doors and my frame fit inside. Picked up some generic one inch hinges from the hardware store. Created a notch to fit the hinges inside. Secured my frame to the door with the hinges. Next, I gave the door and the frame a good coat of paint. Once the paint was dry, I went ahead and made sure once again that my doors could fit in. Glued in the door frame and added trim. I found these picture frames at the thrift store, so I am going to use them as the windows. On two more foam boards glued together, I traced the outline of the two windows and cut it out. I added a thin balsa wood trim, later painted white, to the inside of the window cutout to clean up the edge of the foam board and to give the window a nice snug fit. Then I added black trim around the window. Then I covered a small piece of foam board with brick scrapbook paper to secure and enforce the seam of the two foam boards. Next, I cut out a few one by three inch notches to glue to the end of the foam board to become tabs. I placed a total of six tabs on the wall. Next, I'm going to trace the tabs on the opposite wall to create placement of the notches. This is what is called a box joint in woodworking. Now with my trim, I am going to create a wainscot paneling on my wall. Add my wallpaper with double-sided tape to make it interchangeable. Completed both sides of the wall with the door and the two other walls along with the flooring. Next, we're gonna move right on into the furniture pieces. The first piece we're going to work on is a side table or credenza. I'm making my furniture pieces out of wood, but you can make yours out of foam board. Follow the cut measurements that's on your screen. And if you're using wood, make sure you sand all your pieces once it's cut. Use wood glue to assemble. For all my furniture pieces, I am using half inch thick wood and quarter of an inch thick wood. So you can use the same thing with foam. Half inch thick foam and a quarter of an inch thick foam. The legs are cut at an angle. Next, we move on to the desk. Again, follow the cut measurements on your screen. And I use quarter of an inch square wooden dowels for the legs. I use quarter of an inch thick wood for the back of the desk. Now we're gonna move on to our bookshelf unit. 
Again, follow the cut measurements on your screen. Follow along for assembly. Created notches again for the hinges to attach to the cabinet doors. I cut some trim at a 45 degree angle for the top of the unit. You can use a miter box to cut your 45 degree angles if you don't have a miter saw or a table saw. Again, remember to sand down all your pieces. Next, I trace the outline of the unit on a piece of quarter inch thick wood. Then I cut it out and placed it on the back to make the backing of the unit. I got some furniture gliders and added them at the bottom of the unit for legs. Made two wall units, painted all furniture pieces. Now it's time to put all these pieces together. Added hooks and a curtain rod. I found a scarf from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and thought it would be perfect for this set. The scarf is an absolute match for the length that I need it to be. Now let's add our furniture pieces. Let's have some more fun by bringing in the accessories. Now I didn't include how to make the swivel office chair and the zebra accent chair in this video because it's really detailed due to the fact that upholstery is involved. So if you guys are interested in me making a separate video showing you how to make these chairs, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a dedicated video for them. Now what good is a bookshelf if you ain't adding books? Some books were individually made and some books were made by packs. It took approximately 50 individual books and 30 packs of books to fill these shelves. Yeah. 
some of my favorite books. Now, if you guys have watched Real Dolls of Plasticwood episode four, you will know what this newspaper is about. Now, just think about this, guys, that this set was built for just two minute part of episode four. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like if you like the video and don't forget to share with your family and friends. And I will see you guys next time.